All right, second video today, and this is going to be more about Windows Vista and all that jazz I've been working around with. So, I've had this document, VistaHelp.docx, for probably six or eight months, and I thought I lost it. I'm just browsing through my old SD cards, and believe it or not, I found it on an 8 meg SD card. Here it is, backed up, and I find this command here something that I've been looking for and something that you may find useful to limit the amount of space System Restore can take up in Windows Vista. If you've got a smaller hard drive like I used to, I had a 40 gigger on my old HP, and the stupid restore points would take up 25 gig of that. And I'm like, hey, where's my space? I have 40 meg left on the freaking hard drive. So I found this command somewhere, and um, hopefully this can help you. I will paste this over to the right of the YouTube video if you expand uh, description or whatever that is over there. But what you're going to want to do is start or the Windows flag key on the keyboard and R at the same time. Or just go start and if you have the run option, click that. By the way, if you don't have the run option, right hand click, sorry, right hand click somewhere on the start menu, like up right next to your icon, and go to properties then go to notification area up, up at the top tab actually I'm sorry go to start menu make sure the start menu is checked there then go to customize scroll down here until you see run command and then check that box and then ok I don't really want it so I'm not going to check it but anyways and when you open when you get the run command open type in cmd command prompt then hit OK, and then you're going to type in the command. It's VSSADMAN, VSS admin space, resize shadow storage, one word, shadow storage, and then slash. So you, can, you guys can just uh, look at it and copy and paste. I don't know if you can copy and paste in one of these windows. Or just memorize it or something fun. But anyways, that will limit the system restore size. And I've noticed the first time I've typed that in, sometimes it gives me an error. If you do it another time, it'll work. And if it still doesn't, check your spelling and everything, and then do it again. But I've had to do it a couple times to get it to work. I don't know why. But there's the first one, the first thing I found here that I want to share with you. The second one is, I may have put this in one of my other videos. I don't remember. If I did, I'm sorry, but here it is again. Um, when you first get Vista installed on your computer, you first get a computer with Vista on it, Hi Hibernate is an option. Well, after you use it a while, and if you run disk cleanup, and you delete the uh, couple gig file, or 100 meg, depending on how much RAM you have, file, um, then Hibernate's not there anymore. And there's no GUI, or Graphic User Interface, aka GUI, to turn it back on. So you've got to type this command in, um, command prompt to get that. And again, open CMD, power CFG, hibernate, hibernate on, power CFG, all one word, and then enter, and there you go. Now, if you come down over here, yep, there's the hibernate option. And I have 4 gig of RAM, so that'll take up 4 gig. You have a gig of RAM, that'll take up a gig, 512 meg, 512 meg, and so on. Um, the last thing is, type this in a run command, not command prompt, just a run command. To see some extra stuff about your computer you may not have known was there. DXDIAG. All one word, no caps, no spaces. DXDIAG. Enter. It might bring up a little pop up. Click no to that. If it doesn't, good. You can look at this. You can see my, my page file. What operating system? My computer, my processor. Go up to the display tab. My video memory, 1401 meg. Current display. Graphics adapter. Sound input, just some extra stuff there. But anyways, that's all I'm going to show you right now. Actually, if you have a SanDisk uh, flash drive, they're great, and you have the U3 software on it. U3, I don't like it. Some people might, some people don't. You can actually uninstall that. Um, go to Google or somewhere and type in uninstall U3 and then you'll find 
the first one right now is just called uninstaller click that and then you get here when you get here then you move launchpad all the way at the bottom and then you can probably just no thanks continue that and then d download the uninstaller and it's like three mattresses and that'll get rid of it um, once you get rid of it there's no way that I can show with you, share with you I'm sorry to get it back so um, know what you're doing when you do that but hopefully that can help you and thank you for watching this